Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Fairhurst. Um, I'm the chief executive of Dr. Rath Health Programs. And uh, before we begin the next part of this presentation, um, I'd like to, uh, first of all, mention a couple of practical things that uh, I hope will help you to get the most out of this evening. Um, I should perhaps, before I go any further, apologize for not talking in Dutch. Um, I have enough trouble talking in in English, as you can probably tell. Um, at the end of uh, our presentations tonight, um, you'll be entitled to receive a certificate which confirms that you've uh, undertaken uh, an introduction to uh, the work of our Health Alliance. Um, and it counts towards attainment of the first level uh, of qualification of our cellular health education program. These certificates will be uh, available in the foyer. Um, they will be handed out by existing members of our Health Alliance who've volunteered to, uh, to be here this evening uh, to distribute them and also to give you their contact details uh, and information about follow-up meetings that will take place after this uh, presentation this evening. At these follow-up follow meetings, you'll be able to have uh, personal conversations with the uh, existing Health Alliance members, and uh, if you're so inclined uh, to become a member yourself, uh, we hope that this uh, in, uh, evening will inspire you to, uh, to want to do that. Um, on your seats, you should have found a small card that uh, enables you to register your interest in uh, receiving a, a free copy of uh, a DVD that we'll be producing of the, uh, our lecture tour in, uh, in Europe this year. Um, if you'd like to receive a copy of the DVD when it's available, then uh, please uh, fill in the cards and drop the completed cards in the special post boxes that you'll find out in the, in the foyer. I'd like to say a special thanks to uh, the volunteers taking part this evening. Um, each one has a, a name badge, similar to the one I'm wearing, um, and uh, will be available in the foyer to answer any questions you might have about our Health Alliance and the work of our Health Alliance uh, at the end of these presentations. There will be time in the evening for you to do that. On, uh, Excuse me. Um, our volunteers will also be uh, giving out free uh, information material packs uh, with more uh, explanation about our work and uh, copies of uh, Dr. Rath's book, Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks, but uh, uh, people do, will also be on sale in the foyer. Okay, that uh, completes the practical issues. So... Uh, I'd like to move on now to the, uh, the reason that we're here this evening. For much of the last seven, maybe eight years, perhaps longer, um, we've been engaged in a fight for the truth. Um, a battle to release information to the general public about the scientifically proven benefits of vitamins and other micronutrients in promoting good health. Events in a recent case in uh, England against the British Medical Journal and uh, an open debate with the editor of the New Yorker magazine from the United States, uh, both of which are fully documented on our Foundation website, uh, highlight several key issues uh, for the future work of our Health Alliance everywhere. Not least among those issues uh, raised by these and other cases is the question of how accurate life-saving health information can be distributed effectively to people when this information is systematically blocked and ridiculed to some extent by the media to the degree that the world's premier medical journal, the British Medical Journal, is prepared to openly attack Dr. Arth with an article so full of lies, it's almost laughable were it not so serious and probably libelous. The BMJ had no option but to remove the offending article and publicly apologize for their uh, standard of reporting and the, um, the lies that they told, 
an astonishing event for such a, a prestigious journal. It's almost impossible to find reliable information, uh, accurate information about the preventive and therapeutic effects of certain vitamins and other micronutrients that have been scientifically proven to be effective in dealing with today's common diseases within the mainstream media. The publication of scientifically verified information about how micronutrients can help against endemic diseases such as cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and immune deficiency diseases, including AIDS, has been blocked and is being systematically withheld from the general public. Later this evening, you'll find out why this is happening and who's behind it and who gains from such an information blockade. Under these conditions, breaking that information blockade through person-to-person -person educational work is one of the main tasks for Health Alliance members who all have a vital role to play in answering such questions as why isn't this information available everywhere to anyone who wants it? And who's preventing us from seeing it? These and other important questions affecting the health and lives of millions of people in the Netherlands and other countries all over the world are precisely why our Health Alliance exists, in order to be able to break that health information blockade. <coughs> Since the media can't be trusted to publish accurate, verifiable information, as the case of the BMJ clearly demonstrates, our Health Alliance members undertake responsibility to become health educators among their family, friends, work colleagues, and within their local communities. By doing so, they're part of a worldwide movement that's seeking to build a new healthcare system for the benefit of all people. Our Health Alliance is also active at the national and international level. An example of this is our ongoing EU referendum campaign. The European Union, uh, through its various uh, bodies, such as the European Commission, the European Parliament, some of which are unelected and largely unaccountable, have for years been increasing their stranglehold over information about effective health programs to such an extent that today, to be able to find accurate and reliable information about natural health programs is a very difficult thing to do. Certainly in the mainstream media, there are uh, other outlets, but for the general public, for those that um, do not come across this information on a daily basis, as, as many of uh, us in the, uh, the natural health uh, um, movement do, it's hard uh, to get to know about these things. And the, uh, our campaign, our EU referendum campaign, uh, has a very simple uh, basis. We want to uh, have a European-wide referendum so that people can express their, uh, their views uh, about what health information they want to receive. They don't have that choice at the moment. And as the European Union uh, is ever increasing in numbers, uh, currently up to about 400 million people, uh, that is a, a significant uh, aspect of our work.